So what is deep learning and is it any different than machine learning? I'm Laura, Director of Data Science Education at Flatiron School, and I'm going to spend the next minute or so teaching you about the difference between deep learning and machine learning. So traditional machine learning is great for understanding and making decisions off of structured data. But what if we get data that's not structured in rows and columns? Or what if the data is so large that finding patterns and relationships manually is difficult? This is where deep learning comes in. Say you want to train an algorithm to recognize photos of dogs. More precisely, say you want to build an algorithm that can tell bulldogs and puggles apart based on their pictures. Well, you can use machine learning models to do this, but they would have a hard time doing a good job because pictures are unstructured data. For machine learning to be successful, you'd need to transfer the information into structured data first, which could look something like this. This would take a really long time to do, and it's not a very scalable method. Imagine we have thousands of pictures and tenfolds of different breeds. Additionally, what about photos that only show parts of a dog? We can't really tell how long Dog 3's tail is in this picture. This is where deep learning comes in. With deep learning, the machine learns from the picture directly. By giving a deep learning algorithm thousands of labeled photos of dogs, it'll be able to start recognizing them and finding patterns in the similarities of dogs. Eventually, after enough training data, the algorithm will be able to recognize all kinds of dogs, even if you didn't feed the algorithm every possible variation. Since we live in an age of big data, deep learning at scale is finally a possibility. And it's something you can learn about at Flatiron School. To find out more about our data science courses, visit flatironschool.com.